somebody say, oh, well, he don't even have a title yet. And now that I got a title, now it's another excuse. So it seems like it's excuses after excuses after excuses. Now he's not worried about it. Uh, I honestly believe, you know, when it comes down to him, and deep down in his heart, he know he know what he's up against when he go up against him. You know, he thinking the big picture. Like, if I take a chance like this, I need to be getting paid as much money as possible just in case if I lose. He's talking about he want to fight this guy and fight this guy, so he's going to be the A side, you know. He don't want a 50-50 fight. Well, that, that just t lets you know right now he's not 100% confident in his own abilities. You know, he can say what he want. The, the, the casual fans can say what they want. But me, you know, uh, if I'm confident in my abilities, I'm like, okay, we can we can do it. You know, it don't matter if it's 50-50 or not. I know I'm going to win, so I don't have nothing to lose. Interesting reports came out that Errol Spence gave Ugas a 50-50 split when it came to pay-per-view. However, on the other hand, Errol Spence told Crawford, you either take a 60-40 split or leave it. And if you don't, I might move it up to 70-30 or 80-20, but when it comes to the split, it's really interesting seeing Errol Spence aiming to give Crawford a worse deal than he gave Mikey Garcia. Sean Porter, who according to Errol Spence can't sell his own family dinner. Errol Spence even gave Danny Garcia, who brought nothing to the table, a 60-40 split. And we have to save the best for last. Errol Spence gave Ugas a 50-50 split when it came to the pay-per-view percentage. According to the reports, Errol Spence is making 1.5 million guaranteed, plus 50% of the pay-per-view revenue. Errol Spence is projected to make a total of $5 million after the pay-per-view revenue. On the other hand, Ugas stands to make $1 million guaranteed, plus 50% of the pay-per-view revenue, where he also stands to make a total payout of $5 million after the pay-per-view revenue. So essentially, Errol Spence is only making $500,000 more than Ugas. Now, if these reports turn out to be true, then Errol Spence has no excuse to give Crawford any offer less than he gave Ugas. I mean, last time I checked, Errol Spence versus Ugas is not the fight that everyone wants to see. Respectfully, it's a good fight, no doubt, but it's not the fight that the whole world wants to see. Last time I checked, Crawford versus Errol Spence is the biggest and the most exciting fight in boxing. Last time I checked, Crawford versus Errol Spence is the fight of the decade. Last time I checked, Crawford versus Errol Spence fight is for the undisputed pound for pound number one in the sport of boxing. The winner will be the king of the sport. That's what the Crawford fight will do for Errol Spence. It will take him to that next level. Now the Ugas fight, Respectfully, the Ugas fight is not doing all of that for Errol Spence. Therefore, why is Errol Spence giving Ugas a 50-50 split when it comes to the pay-per-view? However, Errol Spence wants to give the bigger star in Crawford, who is boxing pound for pound number one, a 60-40 split in Errol Spence's favor. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, now does it? Which that's what makes Errol Spence come off like he really doesn't want the fight because he never told Mikey Garcia to take a 60-40 split or leave it. He never told Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, or Ugas, take 60-40 split or leave it, the way he did to Terrence Bud Crawford, since Errol Spence really wanted to fight them guys, where a split wasn't gonna come in between making a fight happen. Which tells us, if anything, Errol Spence doesn't want the Crawford fight, the way Crawford wants the Errol Spence fight. Furthermore, when it came to the 60-40 split Errol Spence threw out there, ever since then, the Terrence Crawford detractors always love to falsely accuse Crawford of turning down an imaginary offer to fight Errol Spence. Even though, like I said a million times, Errol Spence never sent an official offer to Terrence Crawford, as Errol Spence and Crawford has never negotiated to fight. So only a fool will agree to a split publicly. It's completely pointless to talk about a split before negotiations even begin. 
in which Terrence Crawford came out recently where he was in complete agreement to everything I've been stating. Check it out. We don't need him or he's the B side or he's the A side and take this money and take that money 60-40 and all that. You know, that's just, you know, stuff that never was even on the table. You know, people just hear a narrative and then they'll run with it and then they'll use their they network channels to feed that to the the people that really don't know boxing, you know, and then that's when you get the narrative and that's when everybody starts saying this and saying that and then you get Team Crawford and then you get Team Spence and then you get his fans and then you get my fans and then everybody going against each other when in reality we should be on the same team with trying to make the fight happen. I'm going to leave the link for the full interview in the description box below. Listen, at the end of the day or at least the night, Errol Spence giving Ugas a better split than he's giving Crawford. It's like Floyd Mayweather giving Maidana a better split than he gave to Manny Pacman Pacquiao. It will never happen. To put icing on the cake, if we compare what Errol Spence and Crawford got paid against the same opponent, for example, what Errol Spence was paid against Porter and what Crawford was paid against Porter, we will find out that Crawford is the A side at least when it comes to the money, which that's what the A and B side is all about, money. Now keep in mind when Errol Spence fought Porter, Errol Spence had a better momentum because that was a unification fight. However, when Crawford fought Porter, that was a mandatory fight. It was a title defense, not a unification fight, even then. Errol Spence was paid $2 million guaranteed plus pay-per-view. So did Sean Porter in a unification. On the other hand, when Terrence Crawford fought Porter, Crawford was paid $6 million guaranteed plus pay-per-view. And Porter was paid $4 million guaranteed plus pay-per-view. So Crawford, in a title defense, tripled the amount of money Errol Spence made in a unification bout against Porter. Therefore, who is really the A-side? I mean, from looking at these numbers, it should be 60-40 in favor of Crawford. However, you never hear Crawford say, I'm only willing to fight Errol Spence if it's 60-40 my way. So Errol, take it or leave it. You will never hear Crawford say that. Absolutely not. Because he wants the Errol Spence fight as bad as he want to breathe. But the million dollar question, does Errol Spence want the fight just as bad for both his legacy and money? Well, if Errol Spence says 60-40 again, then he clearly doesn't want it because he did not say that when he came to Ugas, who's not a bigger star than Crawford, not in a million years. We all know what time it is. It takes two to tango. So I suggest that Errol Spence take advantage of the momentum of this fight being for undisputed to leverage the most money out of pbc instead of worrying about the split i mean you see pbc offering canelo more than a hundred million to fight charlo and benavidez and guess what canelo did not take the deal so there's a lot of money for errol and crawford to make thanks to canelo ducking charlo and benavidez which means it's now or never for errol spence to make the most money for the biggest legacy fight. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below, and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace, and I'm on to the next one. I seen in his face that he was real hard, and you know, his dad did the right thing by stopping him because I was coming with vengeance. Errol Spence was right there watching this fight. As soon as this stoppage happened, he walked out. What was your message to Errol Spence tonight? He was at my fight? Yeah. Now that boy said he wasn't going to never. He don't never be at my fights, but now he's at my fights. Um, but what did you think of, of Terrence showing up ringside? Do you think that helped build some buzz to, to, to make it a big fight? Uh, no. I mean, he got to live up to his words. If he... If he say he's not worried about me, then I don't know why he's doing what, what he was doing here. I probably wouldn't go to none of his fights, so I'm not worried about Terrence Crawford, like I said. Well, you see what I did, you know, compared to what he did. So, 
That's what happened. As soon as you, the stoppage happened, that's what happened with Eric. Hey, hey, listen. My thing is, who number one in the welterweight division now? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Three smoke, Junior. There are no retirement. T. Bug Crawford. Yeah. Everybody know who the champion is at 147, who the king is. Peace. And he's too small. He's too small. He's little. He's light in the ass. Hey, look. He's light in the ass. Ain't nobody say Floyd was light in the ass. He's light in the ass. He's not Floyd. Hey, I told y'all I was going to pull up on hey. Spence. Hey. <laughs> you was really right, right, right. Hey, look, hey, look, look, look. I love it. Hey, look. I love it. Hey, I told him I want that word. I told him I want that word. This ain't no Keith Thurman shit. That's what we be scared of shit.